Hey guys, this is Louis, the IT guy. Today we're going to be learning how to delete an Azure VM through the portal, through Azure CLI, and through Azure PowerShell. Let's go to our portal. Let's go to our virtual machines. And here I have three virtual machines which we're going to use to present each case. First, let's use Agent PC02. We navigate inside it and uh, we see that the machine is stopped and deallocated. This is a must before we try to delete it. Now we click on delete. And we're going to have here, uh, it's going to tell us that this action will permanently delete this virtual machine. Since this is what we want, we go ahead and verify if we want to apply a force delete, which will tell us that it doesn't delete the associated resources by default. So here we see the associated resource types and uh, we, we want to delete everything that has to do with, with this VM. So we click on the, on the network interface and public IP addresses since the OS disk comes by default. So we also click here on the agreement, click on delete, and we will see here on the notifications the progress of our of our um, deployment at the moment, which is in this case uh, the deletion of the VM. Okay, so now we see that our VM has successfully been deleted. Let's check here. Let's click on refresh, and now we see that we cannot find that resource. Let's go to our resource group and make sure that everything from that agent PC02 is gone. And here we still have, you know, our network security groups and uh, a public IP address uh, hanging, hanging there. So we uh, select them and go here and, and click on it. And uh, it asks us again for confirmation, gives us a, a warning here that everything that we do cannot be undone. We type yes, make sure that the selected resources here are the, are the ones that we want to delete or take them out here on, uh, by clicking here on the X. And once we make sure everything is correct, we click on delete. And uh, it starts again here, uh, the same process on the no notification panel. Okay, now that we're down to just uh, two VMs, Let's go ahead and do the next one with the Azure CLI. Let's pick this one. Uh, for this, we go here uh, and we open our cloud shell inside the Azure portal. If you open it for the first time, it's going to ask you to create a storage resource group. Uh, just click on continue and uh, you're going to get to the same window. Now, if you're new to this, you're going to want to uh, go to this uh, Microsoft Docs page where you can see here all the, all the Azure CLI latest commands and uh, you can filter them by title. So we go back to the portal. Got to put the resource group. Let's type it here. paste it and then the VM's name it's DZ01 IT click on enter that didn't work what happened I think it says on rec oh I missed the dash here resource group Okay. Okay. Now it works. So it's AZ VM delete resource group cloud, right? And the name. And, uh, now it's asking me, are you sure you want to perform this operation? Yes. So the way that we're doing these videos is, uh, like doing this real time, any troubleshooting, doing it in real time, any, any search doing it real time, because, um, sometimes when we look at videos and, uh, we find a solution for everything right away. It's there so static, so perfect. And uh, I know that sometimes it feels like 
maybe you're not doing things right when they go wrong and you don't find the answer so that's uh sort of the the way that i want to make these videos like any error that i have or anything that i forget just leave it on the video and that way that way maybe it can help somebody down down the line so click on refresh and that vm is no longer there let's click on refresh here to see if we can see it nope gone now the last one that we have is do the deletion through azure powershell let's clear this up to do the deletion to uh, through azure powershell what we have to do is the following remove azvm name and write the name spc and it's going to ask us for the resource group so let's 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 uh get out and let's do it we can do it like this to remove az vm name right test pc and let's uh let's add the resource group right here and we can start typing it and uh enter tab and it's gonna auto fill it for us click enter yes and it gives us a little output here saying the start time and the end time it lasted about one second to do the operation and we click on refresh and the vm is not there if you feel that you learned something with this video and you liked it share it comment give me a like subscribe and i'll see you next time